What's up everybody, I'm Shane from Silverstein and you're watching the Valencia Voice. Danny Morales of the Valencia Voice here with Shane from Silverstein. How you doing Shane? Good, good, how are you? I'm, pre I'm pretty good man, I'm stoked to see you guys live again. Uh, yeah, it's uh, always good times in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys are about a little more than midway through the U.S. leg of this tour, then you guys go a few other places. Um, yes. How, how's the tour been so far for you guys? It's been good. It's been really, really good. We, um, it's, you know, it's nice to be uh, back on a support tour where we don't, we're not headlining, so it takes some of the pressure off. We have a little more free time to ourselves, and, um, you know, we're, we're, we're old friends with, um, with Week Games Romans, the headliner, so it's been, uh, it's been good times. Last time we saw you down here was for Warp Tour Orlando. Uh, personally, for you guys as a band, do you guys like it more playing those uh, outdoor festival type shows or touring on the indoor venues? Well, it's it's well, it's one of those things. Like now that we've been, uh, you know, on tour all summer, Warp Tour, we're very excited to get back in the dark, air conditioned clubs. You know what I mean? But then, of course, by the time um, we're doing that for the next, you know, whatever it is, six months. Um, we'll be excited to get back outdoors and do some festivals. So it's kind of nice to have the balance between, you know, we enjoy, we enjoy both uh, settings. You guys recently re-released This Is How the Wind Shifts, correct? Uh, yeah. Like last week? Very recently, yeah, like uh, just on Tuesday. What, what went into to you guys wanting to re-release that? Well, um, well, it, we, we should, it's not really, we, we don't want to call it a reissue. It's just, we called it addendum. Um, this Is How the Wind Shifts addendum. And basically, you know, an addendum like in a book is something that, the author would add after the fact, um, you know, something that they thought was missing from the original or needed to be included. And and um, we wrote two new songs, um, and we we felt like they would fit really kind of right in place with this album, um, both you know lyrically and musically. And we really thought they should be included. So we figured we could add the two songs, um, a couple more, you know, a couple uh, uh, other sort of B sides that we had um, hanging out. And then just kind of relaunched um, the record again, and a record that we're very proud of and feel really good about. Um, you know, just put it out, put it out there again for people with uh, with a little extra, uh, a couple extra uh, tunes. So. so, so it's like a director's cut. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, yeah. But I think it, it, it isn't really because you know when you, when you when you use the term director's cut, like the plot of the movie is still the same. You know what I mean? And and I think that this actually does have a you know a lot more content, a lot more um, you know to bring to the story. You know, rather than it just being like oh a couple scenes that got cut for a reason. You know, these these were not B sides that we are putting on now because they weren't good enough in the beginning. We wrote these songs after. The record, you know, most people when they do reissues, it's like, oh, what like shitty songs that weren't good enough do we have laying around we could sell? That wasn't what happened. These were brand new songs we actually recorded. So, so, so people can go and check out a couple new tracks that, yes. that they didn't hear yes. over uh, Warp Tour. The, the one is um, the one, I guess, the one we you know kind of are we're pushing as the lead track for this is called I Will Illuminate, which uh, uh, is we're really happy with. And there's another one called Kill the Lights that came out. Uh, also really well, so we're we're stoked on it. So, are you guys playing that on tour on this tour? Yeah, we're playing. I will illuminate every night, and it's getting great response. Yeah. You guys have been together for uh, ten years, maybe more. More, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what what if you could describe anything? How, how has the band uh, grown up, matured from your first album to to now? Yeah, it's 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 kind of funny, you know. It's been like we really have grown up. Um, you know, as a band, but we've grown up as people all together too. And you know, I remember, you know, we started the band. I was in my last year of high school. You know, and um, you know, we've gone. I've gone all through my my whole twenties into my thirties now, with this being you know the main focus of my life. So, it's uh, you know, it's, to say it's all I know is it sounds like this big dramatic thing, but it, it is literally all I know is 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 Silverstein and and being in this band and doing what I do. So, it's uh. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty intense. Take you back a little bit. One of your albums, you guys released uh, a shipwreck in the sand. Yeah. You guys did that one somewhat like uh, like chapters in a in a book. Yeah. And, and it told a story. Uh, what went into wanting to release an album like that, and will we see one again like that in the future from Silverstein? I mean, possibly. Um, you know, looking back at that record, it, I think it came out great, and it's, it's an album I'm really proud of. Everything you know, everything about it, but. Um, but I mean, when when it came time to do this record, and we wanted to do a, a concept record again, 
Uh, I didn't want to do it the same way with a very linear story like a, you know, like a movie would be or a book would be, you know. I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting, which with, you know, with This Is How the Wind Shifts having, you know, parallel tracks and stuff, was, I just thought was a little bit more of a um, interesting and maybe, maybe able to take it to a little bit of a higher creativity level. Um, but, I mean, yeah, like, I think going back and doing another concept record with that tells a story could be cool at some point, you know, I, I don't know, you know, we don't want to repeat ourselves in this band, we, you know, we don't want to do things that are going to just be redundant, um, but at the same time, you know, every step we've taken has been a journey, you know, and um, the album Rescue, for example, like, people always ask me, oh, why was that not a concept record, and at the time, we didn't want to make a concept record, you know, we, we, we wanted to make... 12 great songs that didn't have anything to do with each other. We wanted to tell 12 stories, you know? So, um, you know, then when it came fun time to do the Saddle Wind Shifts, that's, you know, what we wanted to do. So, in terms of moving forward, I can't say how I'm going to feel about, it, about, you know, where my creative um, flow will be in a year and what we'll want to do, but who knows. You talk a little bit about telling stories, Shane. I watched some of your guys' music videos and almost each different music video is almost like a mini three minute movie. Do you guys have a little bit of fun and do you guys get creative input on how, how the music video is going to go down? We do. I mean, for me, like, to be, on, to be totally honest, I don't really like making videos and I never have. Um, I don't know if anyone watching this has ever made a video for a, a band they were in um, of any level, but it's, it's, it's you know, you're, you're talking about taking like a three minute song and you spend sometimes more than a like sometimes two days just on this hearing this song over and over again singing it over and over again it really takes the fun out of it out of what it actually you know is you know there's nothing worse than it's like okay so we're gonna shoot this like whole song and then we're gonna shoot it so you know with three different lenses this way and three different lenses this way and three different lenses then you just sang the song nine times and you know, it's, it takes the passion out of it. So I don't really like music videos, but I mean, I understand they're fun for people to watch. So, you know, it's important that, you know, we, we get behind them and whatever, but it is always difficult because when you read what the video is supposed to be and then you watch what it ends up being, sometimes they come out a lot different. So we've, we've had a few, I mean, I don't know how many, I think we've made like something like 15, 16 videos. Um, and I'd say there's a handful I really like, but there's a few that I... Do you do you have any that you watch? Do you ever like um, Karma or, or any of those? Um, well, I don't know. Not like it's been a while since I went back and and watched them. Um, I mean, we just made the Better Place video, which which was kind of uh, kind of fun and kind of interesting. I like the Brookfield video a lot. Um, Josh did that one um, and, and because it takes place like in my hometown. And it's the real spot where I used to kind of go to, like my like my thinking spot. Oh, okay. So it's kind of cool to watch that. And there's footage of like people swimming in my pool and like my parents' house in the backyard. So it's like actually you know real to me. So that one's kind of interesting. And the sacrifice video is cool too because that was actually filmed on our real bus. You know. So when when in my bunk like I'm sleeping and you know so those things are like uh, uh, those videos are are cool. You know in that respect. But some of them are just kind of whatever to me, yeah, right. to be honest. Yeah. Right. Well, that's a little insight that, that some fans might yeah, not yeah, know. Sure. So one last question before we let you go, and you'll, you'll rock the House of Blues like we know you always yeah. do. Uh, <laughs> you, we know that this has been a busy year for you guys. You guys had the album, you were on Warped Tour, you guys jumped right back out here with uh, We Came As Romans. Once you guys are done touring for, for the year, uh, what, what's, what are you guys going to do next uh, besides just go back to Canada and relax? Um, well, we, you know, it, it might seem like, you know, we've done all this stuff, but we're, we're still... We're still, we have a lot of plans to go to a lot of other countries and do a lot more tours and, um, you know, do, we're going to be doing some festivals next summer, um, you know, so we still have a lot of plans and I think, um, you know, we're not really sure what the next thing after that will be, um, you know, but we have some, some pretty cool ideas shaping up for, for some stuff, you know, to, to, to you know, we really want to take, take the old and the new, you know, with our band because as we move forward, we feel like we're, we're a band that's still making relevant music and still making some of our best music we've made. But we've always been a band that's embraced our beginning, embraced our past. You know, we're not like Radiohead. We're like, we won't play, fucking play our first record ever. We're not like that, you know? We, we understand that we were young and we understand it's not that good, but we understand that there's nostalgia and people want to hear those songs. Yeah. So we're, we're totally, you know, um, you know, like 
this year was the ten, tenth year of of um, you know our first record, and we did the re-record of Smash to Pieces, and um, uh, you know th there was things that we do to our, in our past. So I think we're going to co constantly kind of walk a fine line between you know moving forward as a band and also embracing what we've done because we're proud of that too. So I think you'll be seeing a lot of that stuff kind of coming up, you know, over the next uh, album cycle and uh, and moving forward. All right, well, we look forward to seeing all the new stuff yeah. from Silver Sea and, and seeing you guys hopefully back in Orlando in uh, 2014 after we this. We'll be back. Yes. Awesome. Nice.